Good afternoon. I'm Professor Andrew Deeks, President of University College Dublin. On behalf of my fellow faculty and staff, I wish to extend a warm welcome to this virtual conferring celebration, especially to our students, your families and friends, and to your supporters far and wide. I'm delighted to be joined by the Principal of the UCD College of Health and Agricultural Sciences, Professor Cecily Kelleher, and by Professor Abby Hyde, Associate Dean for Undergraduate Studies at the UCD School of Nursing, Midwifery and Health Systems. This is a meeting of the university gathered for the conferring of degrees. A quorum is present and I now call upon Professor Abby Hyde to commence the proceedings. Thank you, President. On behalf of my colleagues at the UCD School of Nursing, Midwifery and Health Systems, I would like to reiterate the President's warm welcome to you all. Harkyon Makolakaha Iskal on Altrinus, Naknov Shakas, Agus Nagoris Slauncha, UCD, Tha on Ahas Arm, Falsia Quirov, Quig on Shermanus Sha Inuv. Traditionally, our conferring ceremonies offer an opportunity for you, our students, to come together and celebrate with friends and family before heading your separate ways. They offer an opportunity for a class get-together where you can embrace one another and share your class spirit. However, we find ourselves in unprecedented times and sadly we did not have the chance to hold in-person ceremonies last December. My fellow faculty and I were so disappointed not to have the opportunity to celebrate with you. On behalf of my colleagues in the school, who have taught and guided you throughout your studies, I want to congratulate each and every one of you. Before we begin, I will explain the procedure which we will follow. Your degrees have been conferred in absentia and we will use a ceremonial form of Latin for this celebration. The Principal of the College of Health and Agricultural Sciences, Professor Cecily Kelleher, will present each degree in Latin and the President, Professor Andrew Deeks, will respond in Latin. I am delighted to be joined by my colleagues Lorraine Carroll, Associate Professor Michael Connolly and Dr Coleman Nocter, who will call the names of the graduates for each programme. The Honours Degree of Bachelor of Science. Pre Honourables Precies, Tota quae contio, presento vobus hasce, meas filias, e hos meos filios, iam toti academiae, tamoribus quam doctrina, habilus et adonius esse agnitos, ad gradum baccalaureatus scientiae, honoro corso confecto admissos. Ego, octaritate mihi concessa. Presento vobus gradum baccalaureata scientia honora curso confecto. Children's and General Nursing. Leah MacDonald. General Nursing. Miriam Adenio. Talula Egar. Maha Aman, Carol Bergen, Stacy Burt, Louise Bow, Maraid Boyce, Heloise Brady. Alison Margaret Brennan Aoife Brennan Jessica Breslin 
Sophie Breslin. Hannah Bristow. Emma Burke. Gian Jose Bustamante. Aoife Butler. Leah Byrne. Orla Byrne. Marion Hope Marzo Caminon. Lorraine Carolyn. Andrea Carrick. Katie Carroll. Emma Cassidy. Ava Isabel Champ. Emma Chandler. Alison Violet Coleman. Georgia Collins. Mary Kate Coleman. Elizabeth Patricia Cosgrove. Roisin Costigan. Rachel Kremen. Mary Crossan. Alexandria Cruz. Nasa Cunningham. Danielle Paula Dabolos. Irla Daly. May Daly. Nikki Deacon. Megan Doherty. Neve Catherine Dolan Mulvey. Tara May Dooley. Nicole Downey. Annie Doyle. Lorraine Doyle. Alison Dyer. Amy Elliot Colopy. Leah Fagan. Leslie Farrell. Kira Fisher. Leah Heather Fisher. Avril Fitzpatrick. Sophie Grace Forsyth. Anya Frain. Nicole Friary. Maria Sari Gahan. Sinead Gaynor. Molly Giles. Sinead Gleeson. Alison Gowran. Aoife Grogan. Fadumo Sara Hassan. Susanna Herzina. Marguerite Hoynes. Chloe Hutchinson. Emer Jackman, Ashling Jackson, Cleana Kavanagh, Elaine Kavanagh, Elizabeth Kavanagh, Nicole Keary. Ashling Kelly, 
Jennifer Kelly. Anya Kyo. Anna Sarah Lambert. Shauna Lenfeste. Roganelle Santos Lojo. Sinead Lucy. Gloria Lugemba. Sophie Jane Lynch. Carla McLaughlin. Johanna Marr. Kelly Mallon. Jill McCarthy. Laura Brenda McCarthy. Rhea McConnell. Avine McConville. Emma McCormack. Emma Marie McDermottro. Caroline MacDonald. Michael McGarrell. Jessica McGovern. Emer McNally. Kira Meehan. Avin Merrigan. Gronya Minuk. Una Minuk. Rebecca Moran. Deborah Owalatemilain Moring Igbade. Sarah Morris. Robin Mulcahy. Sean Xenophon Mullins. Ashling Murphy. Charlotte Tara Murphy. Leah Murphy. Neve Murphy. Orla Murphy. Ruthie Nikasa. Saivni Velvahel. Marcella Nikolova. Aoife Marie Nugent. Alice O'Brien. Eva O'Callaghan. Neve O'Donovan. Saoirse O'Dowd. Roisin O'Keefe. Danielle O'Leary. Shannon O'Looney. Ashling O'Malley. Roisin Patricia O'Neill. Mark O'Reilly. Sinead O'Reilly. Emer O'Sullivan. Gabrielle Pay. Ma Hulin Provido. Ma Angelica Katrina Punzalan. Greta Rassisite. Anya Idel Reddy. Jessica Redmond Kelly. Neve Riley. Roisin Riley. Sarah Reinhard. 
E. V. Robinson Roisin Rooney Neve Rowan Anya Rush Laura Margaret Russell Sorka Saunders Nolene Shanahan Catherine Shepherd Orla Shinners Emily Rose Summers Rachel Tennyson Ashling Tracy Alison Trainer Leah Tuhi Petra Voilstiger Brendan Wallace Emily Walsh Alex Webb Jamie Whelan Health Sciences Serena Mary Clarkin Ailish Kelly Honours Degree of Bachelor of Science Mental Health Nursing Aubrey Aberado Emma Brennan Tracy Brown Ashling Buckley Gafar Buhari Ronan Coffey Sarah Dolan Kyle Janner Una Kilmartin Kerry McEnany Keelan O'Farrell Hannah O'Sullivan Amber Raythorn Emma Reed Honours Degree of Bachelor of Science Midgerfee Clara Ahern Amy Ash Ellen Bradley Anita Byrne Clara Devine Erica Fenner Amy Fogarty Leah Hart Laura Howard Ashling Marie Kenny Demi Lee Messet Kira Veronica Murphy Helen O'Brien Amy O'Reilly Corinne Panton Rachel Richards Ashling Rooney And Psychiatric Nursing Connor Kelly Frankie Walsh Degree of Master of Science Degree of Master of Science 
Pre honorables praises, tota pue contio. Presento vobus hasque, meas filias, et hos meos filios, iam toti academiae, tamoribus quam doctrina, habilis et adonius esse agnitos, ad gradum magisterii scientiae admissos. Ego octoritate mihi concessa, presento vobus grada magisteri scientia. Advanced Pain Management Sarita Moras Clinical Leadership Healthcare Job Daniel David Critical Care Nursing Elaine McKeown Sarah Jane Mulvaney Karen O'Dowd Denise Catherine Power Leadership, Innovation and Management for Healthcare Kofo Warola Arimu Maria M. Creed Angela Duffy Audrey Fitzgerald Geraldine Dimpna Kinarni Ian Lowry Kieran MacDonald Una Mary Murphy Kieran O'Connor Midwifery Practice Orla Catherine Bow Siobhan Clancy Christina Cochiaro Rebecca Hannan Samantha Helen White Nursing Anne Callitz Nursing Advanced Practice Shirley Baker Elaine Butler George Carolyn Stacy Carroll Angela Dalton Jane Dehan Gavin Duffy Lisa Rita Farrell Vanula Gardner Maria Hayes Emer Kenny Laura Kenny Katrina Etna Kenny Laura Mackey Ashling Madden Neve Maguire Ruth McElroy Blonid Nolan Jane Nolan Katrina Normoyle Erica O'Hanlon Siobhan O'Malley Jennifer Smith Maeve Stenson Nursing Advanced Practice Prescribing Pathway 
Heather Costello, Katrina McCabe, Karen Theresa McConnell, Grace Ann O'Donnell, Nursing Clinical Practice, Caroline Ahern, Kate Ohi, Shirley Elaine Bradshaw, Michelle Olivia Carey, Eileen Mary Delaney, Leanne Fennelly, Ruth Finless, Andrea Flannery, Louise Glennon, Ethna Hartley, Deepa K. Josie, Laura Maher, Orla Christine McIntaggart, Jean Marie Nevin, Joanne O'Neill, Laura Sweeney, Susan Thomas, Doreen Tutti Day, Nursing Education, Michelle Gibbons, Helen Jordan, Smita Koryakose, Alice Murphy, Warren James O'Brien, Michaela Schumann, Nursing Midwifery and Health Systems, Jean Doherty, Lisa Marie Murphy, Palliative Care, Elaine Buckley, Amanda McNally, Con O'Brien, Public Health Nursing, Mairead Cray, Annette O'Dwyer, Mairead Tierney. On behalf of my colleagues, I extend my warm congratulations to all of you who are joining us today to celebrate the recent graduation of our former students. This is a very special day, a day that we applaud the culmination of all that hard work at UCD, all those hours of study and learning that I'm sure were fairly stressful at times, but you have done it. So wherever you are right now, I hope you are feeling a wonderful sense of achievement. May I address for a moment significant others who have supported the graduate on their journey, who are joining us today for this virtual celebration. The parents, partners, wider family and friends. This message is for you. Today, we are celebrating not just the fruits of the labour of those who have recently graduated, but also the fruits of your labour much of the support that you have given the graduate whose achievements we are celebrating involved invisible work and for parents this has extended for the entire lifetime of the graduate. So after all that minding and guiding and advising and encouraging I'm sure that your graduate has made you justly proud today and we all applaud your very important contribution. 
In my capacity as Associate Dean for Undergraduate Studies, I have, over the years, had the pleasure of seeing many student groups successfully complete their nursing or midwifery programmes. However, you are a particularly special group. Not alone have you demonstrated your competence in completing a nursing or midwifery programme, but you have also demonstrated an ability to adapt to what can only be described as extraordinary global and in turn local circumstances. Throughout your lives, each and every one of you can look back with pride on the part that you played in the collective effort to manage the pandemic. Your contribution will go down in history when future generations reflect on the courage and resilience of nursing and midwifery students in the front line at the height of the pandemic in 2020 and their continued contribution as new graduates in 2021. You have shown remarkable tenacity and dedication and the nation owes you an enormous debt of gratitude for your contribution since the pandemic began. We at the School of Nursing, Midwifery and Health Systems are incredibly proud of you all and are really privileged that you chose to study with us. The mission of the UCD School of Nursing, Midwifery and Health Systems is to prepare nurses, midwives and other professionals to promote and protect health, well-being and dignity across the lifespan through skilled, ethical and careful practice based on best evidence and prudent judgment. In successfully completing your programme of study, you, our recent graduates, represent the fruits of that mission. The success of our programmes would not be possible without the support and experience of our clinical partners, including the Mater Misericordiae University Hospital, St Vincent's Healthcare Group, including St Michael's Hospital, Children's Health Ireland Crumlin, Temple Street Children's University Hospital, St John of God Hospital, HSE Community Healthcare East, Our Ladies Hospice and Care Services, the National Maternity Hospital, Hollis Street, the Masher Lean Academy, and the many other facilitating sites, hospitals and community health centres, and other services external to our partner hospitals that the graduates attended in the course of their clinical training. May I take this opportunity to thank most sincerely our clinical partners from all of our clinical sites for their contribution and support throughout the pandemic. Their work and commitment has been extraordinary in providing you with your clinical training experiences during the most challenging of times. As you are aware, Professional learning is a lifelong process and we encourage you to continue to strive to be the best you can be throughout your professional lives through engaging with continuing professional development and further studies. This will facilitate you further to be expert and compassionate clinicians, inspiring and supportive educators, cutting edge researchers and dynamic networked leaders. In graduating from UCD, you have become part of the UCD family and are an alumnus of the university and thus will always have a special connection to the school. We hope to see you back, hopefully in person, in the future to engage in further studies. I am now delighted to welcome your fellow student, Erica Fenner, to address you. Hi everyone, I'm Erica Fenner. I'm a recently qualified midwife and part of the class of Nursing Midwifery 2020. First of all, I would like to thank all of my fellow classmates on graduating in the most challenging circumstances that we could have been presented with. It's really unfortunate that we won't be able to celebrate today in person. 
The nature of what we've studied for the last four years means that we have experienced highs and lows that not many other college graduates can lay claim to. I think many of you will agree that we wouldn't be here today if it weren't for the fantastic supports we've received over the last four years, both within UCD and outside of UCD. Namely, I'd like to thank our lecturers, with particular emphasis on our personal tutors, for putting up with us for the last four years and helping us through. I'd like to thank the administration staff who dealt with countless queries. I'd also like to thank our student advisor, Anna Scully, for supporting us and providing us with the best of help whenever she could. Mostly, I would like to thank you, the class of 2020, for persevering through the programme together. Our resilience and determination, particularly that we've displayed in the last year during internship with COVID, shows that we are going to be the nurses and midwives leaders of the future. I'd also like to thank our partner hospitals who aided us in achieving the competencies that mean we are practicing nurses and midwives today. With eight CPCs, preceptors, ward managers, and having each other on the wards for support, we wouldn't have been able to achieve this today. We have been supported and minded through the course, but at the end of the day, it is us ourselves that got us to where we are. We are a group of devoted and dedicated nurses and midwives, and I truly believe that the future holds great things for all of us. I'd like to wish everyone part, who is part of the class of Nursing Midwifery 2020 the best of luck with their future careers and endeavours, and I hope that many of us cross paths again, be it in personal or professional capacities. Thank you. My warmest thanks to Erica for those inspirational words. Now I will ask President Andrew Diggs, UCD President, to address you. Congratulations once again and enjoy the rest of this very special day. Distinguished guests, colleagues and most of all graduates, you're very welcome to this virtual celebration ceremony. Given the restrictions in place last December, it was not possible to hold in-person ceremonies, and I'm delighted that you are joining us today for this virtual celebration of your conferring. As president of UCD, I take great pride and pleasure in extending my personal congratulations to each one of you. This has been another year of extraordinary challenge as the entire world continues to deal with the impact of COVID-19. I am, however, greatly heartened by how we as a community here at UCD have responded to the crisis with creativity and innovation and with courage and compassion. It is in these most testing of circumstances that we truly show what we are made of, individually and collectively. In facing the demands placed on us, we are discovering new depths to our resourcefulness and resilience. As Ireland's global university, UCD has played and continues to play a vital role in shaping our response to the pandemic nationally and globally, both culturally and scientifically. I'm proud to see how our brightest minds are rising to the challenge across all academic disciplines, from medicine and science and engineering to the arts and humanities. All around me, members of our UCD community have stepped up with courage and vision to meet the challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic, and their actions continues to underscore the vital importance of education, research and evidence-based decision-making in transforming our society. Graduation is a special occasion, marking the culmination of years of study and hard work by you, our graduates, and the teaching and guidance of our faculty and staff. As graduates, you have taken your place in a changed world, one in which your skills are in keen demand, your energy and passion is needed, and one that warmly welcomes your skills and expertise. While you were at UCD, our mission was to give each of you a holistic education 
to inculcate in you a lifelong desire to learn and to create, and to instill in you a sense of purpose, a capacity for critical thinking, a desire to make a difference in society, and above all, an awareness of the global community in which you can make an impact. And I hope that you embrace these attributes and take them forward throughout your life journey. Here at UCD, we have almost 8,000 international students joining us from over 145 countries, adding enormously to the diversity and quality of campus life and to the UCD educational experience. We bring the best of the world to Ireland and the best of Ireland to the world. And so it's a particular pleasure for me to extend an Irish welcome to the families and friends of our international students who are joining us online today. Cade Mila Fulcher, Roeb Golair, a hundred thousand welcomes to you all. During your time at UCD, I truly hope that we have given you a sense of belonging to a community that includes your fellow students, your flatmates and friends, lecturers and mentors. There's no doubt that the vast majority of you, whether you work here in Ireland or overseas, will operate in a global society. Indeed, in the increasingly global environment in which we live, that sense of local and of belonging to the UCD community is even more important. And so, wherever your career takes you, I would encourage you to stay in touch with your alma mater. As you prepare for the next stage of your life journey, remember that you are now a member of a very proud UCD alumni group of almost 300,000, based in some 170 countries, who will offer you a network of friendship and support wherever your journey takes you. While you were students, you were the centre of the UCD community, and now you remain a member of that community and carry the UCD badge with you. Wear it well, Use it to open doors to advance your own ambitions, but also extend a helping hand to those who come after you. Seek to inspire and encourage them. And above all, follow our motto, Ad Astra, to the stars, by seeking to make your own mark and your own contribution to our society. The bonds of solidarity within the UCD community are tighter than ever as we support each other through these difficult times. I'm very encouraged by the government's reopening plan for this summer, by the lower infection rates, the decrease in hospital admissions and the collapse in the mortality rate, and by the pace and efficiency of the national vaccination rollout. Here at UCD, we will continue to follow the government's advice and guidelines, looking forward to a smooth return to campus as soon as it is possible, while keeping everyone's health and safety at the forefront of our minds. I look forward to welcoming you all back on campus to celebrate your achievements as soon as it is safe to do so. But until then, I wish you well as you embark on your careers. Take care of yourselves and your families and take heart in the hope that we will come together again at the end of this journey, stronger and more united than ever. Congratulations once again and enjoy the rest of this very special day.